so what is transcriptome transcriptome in a sense is this term defines i mean this term refers to all the rna contents of a cell i mean every single bit of rna content that is present in a cell is termed as the transcriptome whatever rna is present trna mrna rrna breakdown content of rna small degraded rna non functional part of the rna introns and all these things those all things combined together termed as the transcriptome of a cell you can define this transcriptome as a transcriptome of a cell but that is not completely correct because this transcriptome varies with time that is the most interesting factor about transcriptome so when you are defining transcriptome you should know it means all the rna content of a cell at a given point of time that is the exact answer for what is transcriptome now why transcriptome is important so transcriptome means that complete rna con content complete rna content at a given time so it, it includes everything it includes coding rna like mrna rrna trna including the non coding part which is in trans there the non coding parts the degraded rnas and so on so all the content of rnas are there now the most interesting part about this transcriptome is that it varies it is not stagnant like genome because genome is also uh, the complete set of genome but the, but the idea is slightly changed over the time but still genome is fixed the number of genes that are present in our body it is fixed that we get from our mother and father that is fixed so everything is fixed in the genome you should not have more than that 23 pairs of chromosome in our body so everything is fixed and in each cell it is fixed same but transcriptome varies from cell to cell transcriptome varies from time to time so it is dynamic so this is dynamic now have you ever imagined that we have different types of cell we have muscle cell we have bone cell we have liver cell we have nerve cell let's say these are the four different types of cells completely different functions of those cells now all those cells have same gene content same genome content in each cell every cell but still why one cell help us to develop the cognitive behavior why the other cell help us to lift a weight why the other cell help us to digest a food why and how they do those things differently why they varies if the genome is constant throughout the cells in each and every cell of our body the genome is the same so why those things varies the answer for that is it, it is not about how many genes are there it's not about what genes are there it's about how the combination of genes are expressed in those cells it's all about gene expression and when you mean gene to be expressed we mean production of mrna and whenever we, we talk about rna all the rna content of the cell we are talking about the transcriptome of that cell so what is the idea why this thing happens why liver cell is different than our nerve cell why the bone cell is different than our muscle cell the answer lies in the varying transcription of those genes in the varying expression of those genes in those cells that is the answer so in this case of transcriptome if you study transcriptome correctly then we can find this transcriptome for a liver cell is different than the transcriptome of a muscle cell then it is different for the transcriptome of our bone cell so all those cells they have different transcriptome at different time point so two things are very very important to use transcriptome as one thing we can use it to study to compare this complete transcriptome at a given time between compare between species and organisms not actually species we can we can actually compare it between organism if i check it at your body and check it in my body it, it may vary in slightly so these things happen there because transcriptome is under control of various level it depends on the environmental factors and many other factors so it is much more dynamic much more changeable so we can compare 
the transcriptome of different organisms to see how they actually function and which cell functions what and how what percentage is going on let's say if we measure the transcriptome of a normal cell and then of a cancer cell we'll find some remarkable difference and we can take that difference as a standard to measure the molecular condition of a cell to be malignant or normal so we can do these things using transcriptome analysis and to understand the transcriptome analysis we have different techniques developed over the year and among those one of the great technique is microarray dna microarray which helps us to understand the expression pattern of the genome and that's what we can study so this is one way to study compare it between organisms and also the another interesting thing about it let's say we have a completely different uh, organism unknown organism or unknown cell we don't know we have a transcriptome but you don't know what kind of cell it is what kind of function that cell have what we can do again we can compare we can do the transcriptome analysis for that unknown cell and we need to check uh, that with the normal one with the other references to find out the exact function let's say we know the transcriptome pattern for uh, the nerve cell for 50 different organisms and then we we take that unknown cell transcriptome we analyze that and we need to uh, compare it with the reference the 50 reference that we have and we can find a remarkable similarity with one or two of those references so you can find that yes it is more similar with uh, with the nerve cell transcriptome than the bone cell so we can tell that the functionality of that cell is kind of using the nerve uh, cell functionality so we can tell those things by comparing this transcriptome with different organisms and, and also in different uh, with for the for the detection of unknown tissue that we are dealing with or, uh, or the function of the tissue that we are dealing with now another thing that this transcriptome also varies with time that i've told it also varies with time so during the development of an organism if you find this transcriptome if you analyze the transcriptome you will see this transcriptome pattern changes a lot and during the development it changes hugely so you'll see uh, the rise and fall of different contents of RNA inside. So those things is also present there. So we can also understand the development pattern, the molecular pattern of development using transcriptome analysis. So transcriptome analysis give us a whole new dimension, a whole new idea to study the molecular patterns, the molecular understanding of biology. So now we have separate part of transcriptome analysis in biological field and that is called as transcriptomics which is combined with bioinformatics as well as proteomics right so these are the complete and ultra modern section of biological science so that's it guys if you like the video hit the like button share this video share it a lot with your friends so that other people can also get the idea and also do subscribe thank you